Hey guys, Lisa Roberry here. Happy Friday. I am one happy girl because I am on vacation for a week. That makes me so happy. We're not even going anywhere, but the office is closed for a week, so that means I'm gonna get some stuff done around the house, so I'm pretty happy. So today I'm going to share with you my weekly favorites, and once again, we're kind of mixing it up a little bit. Everything is home fragrance for this week that I'm going to share with you. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump in. So um, I did finally finish up the Better Homes and Gardens uh, Wildberry Cheesecake. This is from back when I did the comparison video um, between Scentsy and Walmart for Better Homes and Gardens Wax. And I like this. It's good. It's really, really sweet, but it, it's a really good berry. Oh my gosh. So Zoe's jumping up on my lap. Get down. She missed me. I literally like I got I just got home because we did work today and I'm losing daylight here. So I'm like, I gotta get to recording. So she's like, uh, how about you play with me instead? <laughs> so, anyways, moving on. So Yes, I did get through this Better Homes and Gardens. Um, it's good. It's really super sweet, but I got through it. So that's what's good. Uh, at the office, I was warming. I kind of did a mixture, and I actually really, really like it. I mixed uh, Spiced Pear, which is new for this season. This is a really nice Spiced Pear scent. It really does smell like Spiced Pear on cold sniff. Once I warmed it, it did change ever so slightly. I'm trying to remember from when I warmed it the fir for the very first time because this time I mixed it. So um, yeah, but this is a good spiced pear, but I have a feeling it's probably not exactly what you're thinking. It's a little more, it's a little on the sweeter side than I was expecting, but it is really good. It's good by itself, but I like even better is mixing it with Cozy Fireside, which is a really great cinnamon scent. It's really, really good. Cozy Fireside, you it's cinnamon, but you also get that like woodsy note to it. So it really does smell like a cinnamon like bark, but it's almost, it's, you get that like smoky woodsy type scent in there too. Oh, it's so good. So I decided to kind of spice up this spiced pear a little bit by mixing it with, uh, Cozy Fireside, totally spaced on what I was holding there. Um, really, really great combination. I really, really like it and it's great for fall um, and especially as we even get closer to winter. It's a really great combination, so that was great. Next, I also was warming uh, Frosted White Birch and this is good. It's not my favorite. Um, it's very, it's very strong. Um, you get this like musky, this like white musk type scent to it. It is very masculine. Let me read the notes to you. Let me find it. Okay, so a cool breeze of peppermint frost. I don't really get the peppermint, but who knows? Eucalyptus, I do get eucalyptus. And lavender gently warm, warms to blonde woods, fir needle and amber. So I do get that like that eucalyptus, um, and you do get like that woodsy type note, but it is very strong and it's kind of on the masculine side. So definitely not my favorite, but I was warming this this week, frosted white birch. So was that all for warming? Almost, almost. So I was also, uh, burning this candle from White Barn, Thankful. This was actually from last year. I don't know if this is still around. I thought it was, but when I just looked it up online, they don't have it online. They may have it in store. I feel like I've seen it in my store, but I could be wrong. I love this. I love, love, love this. <laughs> it's so good. Um, it's chestnut and clove and that it really does smell just like that. So let me read you the notes. This luxurious blend of rich chestnut, uh, aromatic cedar and freshly ground cloves evokes happy Thanksgiving memories with family and friends. And you get that. It's so good. You get the, I love the smell of clove, but you also get that like nutty smell of uh, the chestnut. 
and it's almost, did it say there's eucalyptus? Because I feel like there's some eucalyptus in here. No, but it's, it's so good. I really like this. I'm definitely into kind of the cooler fall scents right now. So I really, really like this. I'm loving it. So, and it's performing like a champ. It's, it's really, really great. I have nothing but wonderful things to say about this candle. I love, love, love it. If your store still has it, you should pick it up because it's great. <laughs> okay, next. I went ahead and purchased my very first candle crock. If you are from Melanie's channel, Mr. Kong's mom, you are very familiar with what a candle crock is. In fact, when I was getting ready to purchase, I... I had to talk to her. I'm like, hey, I want to make sure I'm getting the right thing. <laughs> so talk me through this. So because uh, she has a couple of different candle type warmers and I totally trust her opinion. We have completely the same taste in pretty much everything. So uh, I knew I could trust her opinion. So I went with this guy. This is from Amazon. It's kind of like, uh, it looks more green on camera, I'm seeing, but it's more of like this teal blue and it's got like a crackled finish. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on the candle crock, but I this has been the highlight of my week and let me tell you why. <laughs> if you have been around for the last couple of weeks watching my channel, you know my hate relationship with this candle. Pumpkin cupcake. I hate this candle. I hate it when it's burning. <laughs> it, it was a terrible performer while it was burning. In fact, I don't even know if you can see. Uh, there is like soot that's all on the inside of, yeah, you can kind of see. It's all on the inside of the glass. It was sooting like crazy. And all it was smelling like was uh, like a burned type scent. It was really bad and honestly brought back really terrible memories for me from when I had a house fire. So I hated this. <laughs> I thought I had some hot plates, but uh, turns out we sold them in the garage sale. Uh, I think I had someone ask me and I apologize if I didn't get back to you. Uh, it's been kind of a weird week. Um, how the hot plates work and the hot plates work just just fine. They, they really, really do. Um, I was going to go ahead and use those to warm this. Um, but since I didn't have them anymore, I went ahead and went for the candle crock because like I said, Melanie swears by this and I can see why. <laughs> so, um, I was warming this and let me tell you, this changed my whole opinion on this candle. I can now smell the pumpkin cupcake and it's, I, I remember why I wanted this candle. So it's great. It, it was a terrible burner and I honestly wish I had not been trying so hard to love this for so long and I wasted like, you can see, I wasted like a good part, a good portion of this candle. But once I stuck it in the candle crock, it was so much better and the, it, the smell is fantastic. It smells like a pumpkin cupcake. You get that like buttercream frosting note and you get that like spiced pumpkin scent. Oh gosh, it's so good. I'm like, this is why I loved this. Okay, this makes sense now. <laughs> so um, yeah, this has been great. So uh, favorite of the week, this is my highlight of the week, <laughs> but I was also loving this as well. So uh, online, so like I said, I got this off of Amazon for $19. And I, online, it looks really small. I'm like, uh, are my Bath & Body Works candles even gonna fit in there? Because they look they look pretty small online. So when I was talking to Melanie, she was like, trust me, they even fit Yankee candles in there. Go, like, okay. Do you see how deep this is? And it's big. So like I said, I had this in here. It fits completely. So you're good there. I don't wanna get too, too much into detail because I am gonna do a whole video on the candle crock and once again if you're from Melanie's channel you will probably skip over that <laughs> because she's done one as well but she's amazing so and she she knows her stuff so one last highlight of my week as we are 10 minutes into this video I apologize but I just I can't not talk about this is my new shade for my diffuser I am in love with this it has just completely transformed the look of my diffuser and I'm thinking next week I'll do a video on the diffuser again. It's beautiful. It just made it look so much more elegant and it's just, 
it's a gorgeous piece and I just can't stop looking at it. It's just stunning. So that's my favorite this week as well. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will be checking in with you next week. So uh, I hope everybody had a great week. And if you have any questions, as always, I will leave my information down below. Please feel free to contact me anytime or leave a comment and I will be returning comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching uh, and please subscribe if you feel like hanging out with me a little bit more. All right, guys, I will talk to you soon.